bicep biased underhand pull downs in the beginning of the lift. Today I'm going to try to do it more towards the end once I've already, you know, gotten some pretty solid work done on the biceps already instead of, you know, jumping straight into it. So this is about, I mean, it's, it's like both of these stacks on each arm, but I mean, who knows how fucking heavy that really is. You know, unless it's an actual pull down stack where there's no pulleys. Like if you pull the weight down one foot, the stack goes up a foot. Like that's the only time the weight is actually fucking, you get what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna sit here underhand and really try to focus on pulling the weight down with my biceps rather than my lats. You know, once I get a couple of, you know, once I get kind of deep into the set, my lats may start to help a little bit, but the primary mover is gonna be the biceps. I do tend to be a little bit stricter with cable curls than I do with dumbbells because it's just not some, um, like the fact that this, this weight is on like a pulley system, the force is much more constant. So you don't really get much benefit from swinging, right? Like if I were to try to go maybe a couple of, you know, pegs heavier on the weight stack for a set of these curls, I don't think I'd really get much out of it. You know, with these, this is more of a slighter controlled set. So rather than like those initial dumbbell curls, where I'm trying to move as much fucking weight as I you know, possibly can, with these I'm trying to go a little bit more uh, conservative, as, as it were, and really just get a fucking burning sensation. I mean, think about this, if you're doing an easy bar curl, your hands have to be like perpendicular to your body. But when I do these single arm, I can kind of sit side saddle, face away, and I don't know, while I'm doing the curl, this feels a little bit better than this. Well, it feels different, and I just prefer it like this for now. But who knows, maybe a couple of months from now, or even weeks, I'll, I'll fucking hate dumbbell preacher curls, and I'll want to do easy bar. So, you know, I kind of go through phases of different exercises that I like and don't like, but at the end of the day, they all just hit whatever muscle you're targeting a little differently. And sometimes you might like it, and sometimes you might not. So it's up to you to kind of pick and choose what's gonna, well, for one thing, feel the best so that you can train consistently and actually enjoy what you're doing, as well as what's gonna be fucking good for your muscles and your goals. Recently heavy single arm pullovers. Now, even though I'm gonna be doing these reps pretty quick, I'm still fucking feeling my lats just fucking burn throughout the motion. Obviously less so in the extended position, but when I get down here to the flex position, ugh, like ideally I want it to feel like it's on fire every time. And again, you know, I can't really reach mechanical failure on a movement like this, just because you can always do a few extra little partials. And you know, I usually let my form break down a little bit so that I can get some extra oomph at the end. So with these, I'm pretty much trying to tell myself, okay, go as hard as you can. All right, and then at some point I hit a level where I'm like, okay, that was good. So pretty much what I'm trying to say right now is, I can almost guarantee I'm always going to get a decent pump. I, I can guarantee that. Every lift I can get a decent pump. Now some days it's better than others for just random ass reasons. You know, maybe I did a certain set of uh, exercises that just happened to feel perfect that day. But you know, if I get a pump, it's not necessarily my best ever. I'm still satisfied just because I know that I still got a good lift under my belt. There was no fucking program, right? It's not like I went from each movement and I could explain to you exactly why I wanted to do that one, right? I've just kind of lifted for so long and done so many different kinds of exercises that I just know what I'm gonna like, right? So ideally, that's the kind of uh, the flow state that you wanna get into. You know, obviously my training has some um, constraints, right? 11 sets, you know, maybe eight to, 20-ish reps, but the movements, the very, uh, they're up to, I wouldn't say up to chance, but they're, they change around a lot. Shoulders is really just about the burn, it's not so much about the weight. May, I may do fucking 45 second rest periods, but really, as a basic rule, it's just until I feel like I've caught my breath and I'm ready to do that weight for at least a comparable amount of reps. Right, like when I was doing those sets of pushdowns with the um, with the two individual D handles, you know, obviously the reps decreased each set, right? But I don't know how many did I do on the first one, like maybe 20, 
and then the second one was more like maybe 18 or and then it kept going down 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 up to like 12. i mean that's pretty much about right you know i wouldn't want to do a set wait 30 seconds do another one and only get five reps you know we're not a we're not powerlifting, so we don't need five minutes in between singles to fully replenish our strength. You know, for most of my volume, I don't really require any more than like really two minutes of rest. Now there are exceptions. You know, when I do squats, that's like <laughs> that's like five minutes of recovery. But you know, doing triceps or buys, maybe a minute. Shoulders even less. I know I'm gonna like these. Uh, laying cable curls so uh, i'll do one set for sure if it feels really good i'll do another one but if it feels like trash i don't know maybe i'll do some kind of uh maybe i'll go back to the preachers i'm not sure but i mean this is pretty much the same shit as doing standing cable curls it's just i don't have to worry about balance because i get to just lay down on the seat Okay, that felt, I mean, that felt good, but I want to do something else. I don't want to do another one of those. But palms up, executed curls. When you do like a dumbbell curl, right, and your hands start in this fucking sideways position, right, you're basically starting it right in this little beginning portion, like a hammer curl. And you're getting a lot of forearm helping you in the beginning of the rep. But when you do a set of biceps where, or a set of curls where your palms are up from the beginning, Right, the only thing that's going to fucking bend your arm is going to be your bicep. Right, your forearm should be pretty much close to out of the equation. Or same kind of thing here. The machine is uh, such that my forearms are going to be locked in place with my palms facing up. So this is just going to be constant bicep tension throughout the whole reps. You know, I'm just done. Like, let's say I felt like I was at my peak pump after, I don't know, maybe six sets of biceps. And I felt like I did some hard ass sets. I could just be fucking done there. But for the most part, I usually go to 11. So that ends up being about 45 minutes per muscle group. So, you know, my arm day, sometimes it's a little quicker, you know, arms are, well, when I do an arm day, it only ends up being maybe, eh, sometimes even an hour, just cause you know, the rest periods between sets of push downs and curls, it's just not that much. Like compared to a leg day, legs could push too, sometimes. And it's not because the sets take any longer, it's the rest times would take a little bit longer using the dip machine to my left because you know the action of that movement is such that it would not be hard for you to let your pecs take over and you know use both your chest and your triceps but by way of let's just call it muscular control you keep your pecs out of it and you just focus on squeezing your triceps to move down those dip handles same logic applies with those underhanded pull downs so you know, after I do, you know, 10-ish reps, I definitely start to feel my lats engage, but nowhere near an actual working set, right? It's mainly just fucking biceps. And what I'm doing, I might say, I feel it the most up in this outer section, kind of close to the shoulder. 